What is going on guys? Welcome to the life. Today we are going to talk about money and why money is so important. So this is hard to believe because we don't think about it enough but we can look at our status in society as a totem pole. Let's say a billionaire is at the top. Senators, president-elect, um, congressmen, let's say they're at the top. Let's say next up are um, uh, the business class. So these are not billionaires, but these are businessmen. High performers, sales, uh, high growth companies, CEOs, uh, CFOs, uh, executives in any field. Let's say they're number two. Then let's go up, let's go down the list, let's go to the upper echelons or the middle class to the upper class. These are lawyers, doctors, engineers, Um, software engineers, you, you get the point. These are these are the fields that you go to school for eight years to, to figure out. Um, Twelve years sometimes. Professors, deans of college, say they all belong in this class. Then we go down to the management class. So this is this could be the manager at McDonald's. This could be the manager at Nordstrom. This could be the manager at Sex and Fifth Avenue. This could be the manager of a cheesecake factory restaurant. This could be the manager of 15 hotels in, in a district. And this is the management class. Then we have the working class. These are people who work at McDonald's, who work at Nordstrom, who work at Sex and Fifth Avenue. You could be a janitor, you could be uh, selling clothes, you could be a sales clerk. You could be any of those things. You're the working class. There are actually people who don't fall onto the pole. These are people below this. Um, uh, these are drug addicts, drug dealers, prostitutes, degenerates. People who uh, don't... Uh, if you're living off your father and you're 32 years old, that's you, you're a degenerate. If uh, you don't pay your bills on time, you're living off the government, Medicaid, Medi Medicare, uh, food stamps, uh, supplemental support, income, supportive income, all those things, you're a degenerate. Um, uh, you might have mental health conditions. So I'm not saying you have to blame yourself. I'm not saying you have to hate yourself. I'm not saying this is your fault. Some people have taken drugs and fallen in love with them. And I don't blame them. I know the feeling. You some you can't it's like falling in love with a girl. If I fall in love with the wrong girl, it's not my fault that I fell in love with the wrong one. Naturally I was drawn to this woman and the time we spent together meant more to me than any time I spent with any other woman and I can't stop loving her I understand that's exactly what you're going through when you love drugs that's you have a relationship and this relationship is not a woman this relationship is far superior to any human pleasure you can ever feel alcohol heroin cocaine these things will uh, they're they're superior to the human pleasures you you can't even get the same kind of pleasure from sex and once you've experienced these pleasures chances are sex will not even feel as good as it should so yeah you're in trouble you have a problem it's not your fault that you started but and it's not your fault that you continue either I understand exactly where you're at but you have to stop and then you have to get on the totem pole and then when you find out you're at the way bottom end of it, it sucks. 
it freaking sucks. But get on the totem pole, man. Get on it, huh? Get on it so we can get onto the freedom train. None of these lot pathways that you have chosen have freedom written on them. If you are a working class person, then the best you can, and you choose to be a working class person, and then what you can do is become better at it, get the promotions, keep changing, changing profession, go into a different field in the working class unit. Um, a car salesman is a still an employee, a working class person. You know a good car salesman makes a lot of money. So you just have to find ways to get better at making money. You have to find better professions to make money at. You have to, you, by doing good things repeatedly, you have given yourself the opportunity to be promoted each and every time. Because all you do is good things repeatedly. You, you, you choose not to watch your phone for 30 minutes while on shift. You choose not to do that. Instead, you choose to step up and do things that aren't necessary, that belong to someone else. You choose to do them. You choose to do them. And, and, and chances are you're gonna get promoted. You're not only gonna get promoted, you're gonna get promoted fast, and you're gonna get a good, good raise, more than, more than most people would've gotten on, their, on that same promotion. You are worth your medal by doing good things repeatedly. You are worth the cost to, to, to they'll bear the cost if you're worth it. So if you think, oh man, I'm only worth $8 an hour, yes, you are. That's exactly what you are. And when you start doing good things over a long period of time, repeatedly, 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 without giving up, the, the, the change will not happen instantly. What will happen instantly is people will look at you different. You will realize what people are seeing in you. Some people will be like, hey man, slow down, take it easy. You don't have to do that. You know why they're doing that? It's because they can't compete. Good job, now you're, now you're doing it. Now you're stepping up. Now all of a sudden the animosity shows in people, their treachery comes in. They don't wanna have to compete with you. So as soon as people say, hey, slow down, take it easy. You don't have to do that, man, come on. Come on, we're just, we're worried about our shift. You don't have to do all that, man. You, do it, do it, continue to do it. Management is watching you and you're gonna get promoted. So don't stop. Don't listen to that buffoon, that little baboon that's chattering. Don't listen to him. This person can't compete with you, so he'd rather just derail you. Don't get derailed, stay on track. Do good things repeatedly over a long period of time. Do not give up and uh, I know you can do it. I know you can get out of it. The ideal would be to, for a working class person is most of us are gonna die working class. Uh, the best thing we can do is find a job. You, you know the US post office matches you for dollar for dollar for everything you save and they pay good money to begin with. So you can not only put away money for your future but you can also live off of a very little bit of it and still have a bunch left over to have pleasures of life. So the best job in the working class is to find a better job. Find a be do the best you're doing at this current job. Don't give up, just keep doing good things repeatedly over a long period of time. Do not stop doing those things. And then while you're doing that, find other jobs. Cause you don't wanna die being a Burger King bum. You wanna die at least a car salesman, someone employed at the US Postal Service. You wanna die retired. That's what you wanna do, you wanna die retired. You wanna have enough money put away that you can live off of it. And you wanna hopefully get some generational wealth. Invest in the stocks that pay the dividends so that you can live below your means and then that, that can be an inheritance to your future. Whoever you choose. It doesn't have to be your son, your daughter. It can be your granddaughter, it can be your grandson. It can be uh, your cousin's daughter, you have to fall in love with someone so thoroughly that, that you are in sync, that you know that whatever you are giving them, you trust to be in their hands. Because money is no light matter. My son can end up being a, a, a crappy human being. I'm not going to give him the money if that's the case. 
I expect my son to be of uh, value. If he is, he gets everything that I have to offer him. But if he's not, if he turns out to be a trash can, then that's all he is to me, a trash can. And I know this is cold. I know this is cold. But I say this out of love. Because I can only, I, I want to serve as best as I can. And uh, I expect that from everyone I, I, I come around. I know I'm gonna leave a lot behind. So the person I leave it to better be worth it. Better know what to do with it. Yeah, hey. Do good unto others. And I know I went on a rant. Some of this does not matter. Stick to what I have to offer. Discard what I don't. Um, money is a spiritual matter, whether you like to hear that or not. Money is make-believe. It is a figment of our imaginations, just like spirituality is. They are very intertwined. Uh, no other species can make transactions like us. We have de devised methods of making transactions far superior to any other being on planet Earth. Uh, it is a figment of our imagination. We used to weigh it down with gold. Now that's not even the case. It is completely imaginary. So... Yeah, that is irrelevant. Please discard that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna delete it because it is the truth. But I hope it doesn't matter to you. <laughs> so uh, yeah, good luck, man. Chase the bag. Get money. Get rich. Keep trying. And if you're on the degenerate side, get on the totem pole, man. You belong on the totem pole. And uh, and if you're smart, you'll be on the top of the totem pole. A lot of you will be at the top of the totem pole if you actually decide to do these run the formula just run the formula for two years I did I ran the formula for two years and I didn't run it perfectly I made a lot of mistakes on the way a lot a lot a lot still I'm very successful because of it thank you guys what is going on everybody you have made it to the end you have lost a few minutes of your life hopefully you can get back a lot more than you have lost um, run the formula and make your make sure your fingers hit the like button the subscribe button and uh, a certain comment critiquing my uh, views would be appreciated thank you very much